Hello everyone, today I am making this video for configuration of custom portlets. So first we will see what are portlets, sub portlets. I am going to an employee profile. So these tabs, general information, my info, these are the portlets with the sub portlets, my info. Employment info. And these are the sub portlets. These are standard, some of these are standard portlets. So we will see today how to create custom portlets. So the first step in this will be configure object definition. So we will be creating a new object. We select object definition. Now here the code will be the name of the field or the other section. So I want to make a previous employer. Previous employment. The name I am giving is previous employment one. Okay, so this is a custom field here you can see cust underscore means the custom we are creating a custom field now, you don't have to you have you have, don't have to keep a space between the name here previous employment then comes effective dating select basic here API visibility. I'm selecting editable here. Status is active. MDF version history. We will select complete history. Complete history means we can see the complete history of the changes made to that field. So you can see this code name is defaulted here in this label field okay then we go to this section that is fields so what are the fields you want in the portlet so here the external code will not change it we we'll keep it as it is in the data type we select user we have to select this as user Okay, and then we will give the name of the field. So, since uh, this portlet is regarding the previous employment, I am giving the field name as previous employer 1. So, what is the length I want to give is 200. I can feel this previous employer 2 again the length I'm giving is 200 third field is previous employer 3 maximum length 200 okay. after this we come straight down into the security field so in security secured we will select it as no because if we select yes this section of the portlet will not be seen portlet and the sub portlets which we have 
created here will not be seen that is the previous employment and these fields will not be seen on the front end that is on the employee profile here now after selecting no we save this record we created the name of this custom portal now the second step is configuration manage configuration ui click on create new here we will keep the same name previous employment one select the base object so here we have created the previous uh, the custom field name as custom uh, custom previous employment one. So we will select that. So you can see these these were the fields we created now in configure object definition previous employer one previous employer two previous employer three. So I have given this these names. I will be putting the names of the previous employers. The name of the company. Okay. So here we click on add group. Here you can see title and the input field. Here what we will be doing is edit properties. And we will give the name of the field name of company copy this field and enter this in title type user defined so what you did is name of the company in the name field and title type user defined field okay so after this is done so we don't require any input field here so we are deleting this field so what I will do is previous employer I am dragging this this in down Okay, so I clicked on add group and what I did is selected previous employer 1, previous employer 2. So you have to drag it properly to and 3. so you don't need this input field here I'm closing this okay. after this I'm s I will save this so you can see that under this name of company these fields will be populated so I'm saving this after saving this the third the third step here will be So we have created the fields in the portlet. Now we go to configure people profile. So what we'll be doing is you can see on this this people profile you can see these fields sections general journal general information here in the people profile you can see general information my info 
employment info okay so now we are adding one more so what we do is we go down here we are adding a new section hence we click on add new section okay so this has been selected that is the reason it is appearing blue here we name the field section name previous employment why so you can see name previous employment then we click here because under previous employment section we will be creating the sub portlets so I will keep the name the same previous employment one so after this after this under previous employment we had created fields previous employer one two three under name of company so we want to add this so what we will be doing is you can see the place block here field so we are we will be placing the block here For this, we go under blocks, custom blocks, and you have to select live profile MDF. Any field you will be adding here, you have to select live profile MDF. Once you select this live profile MDF information, you had created a screen with the fields in the configuration UI. So we'll be selecting that previous employment. Click on this. So what this will be doing is it will transfer the fields here in this section under previous employment one. I'm saving this. saved successfully so now we are done with the custom pro portlet creation but the thing is that we will have to give permission rbb so for that i will go into manage permission roles So my role is super admin. Under this permission settings, I will click on permission and we will select employee views. So here you can see employee views. I'm selecting this. So on the employee profile page, these are the fields which can be seen in the employee view so we have to find our field that is previous employment one you can see the previous employment one you tick on it so it will be visible to this user I'm saving the changes So you can see that after birth details there is no previous employment one tab yet. I will refresh this page. Select employee file here. Or you can directly enter the name of the employee on the search bar. 
you, you can see sections the section which i created was previous employment to one and this is the portlet and this sub portlet when i did this i can see the name the fields which i had created in the configuration ui name the name of the employee name of the company previous employer can be xyz this employer pc name when you save this so this is how we have created a custom portlet Okay, the steps which were involved were configure object definition first where we created the fields then manage configuration UI this we assign to configure people profile the last step was this manage uh, permission rules rules then you are able to see this custom portlet on the employee profile so this is the configuration for custom portlet and these were the three steps involved thank you very much